So five rooms of two connected um, in like a cluster with rooms of two and a bigger um, bathroom with double the sink stall showers. The great news is there's no communal here as soon as either going to be suite or cluster and a lot of times second year on we'll go to apartments. Um, but without further ado we can start to walk into the residence hall. Alright, that's Stephen, our tour guide. We're in the residence hall section. Well, I don't know. <laughs> this one. Yes, all these big name colleges with their big name. I told her she can have. Because this is going to be um, in the um, with summer session. So, for summer sessions, students who will stay like on campus and stuff, a lot of us are going to be located on East Campus, which is going to be across Route 13 on the other side of campus. We do have a tunnel that will connect you from our side of campus to the other. Um, so, a lot of the freshman residence halls are closed for the summer, so you get a lot of like um, their cleaning, painting, and things like that. Maybe. Anyways, welcome to the lab here. Something that's really cool about freshman residence halls at SU is they were all renovated around 2015 to give a very similar feel inside, whether you're in a sweet cell or a cluster, any of these different buildings, and they're all very close to each other and close to a lot of new things on campus. If you look over there, you have a classroom. It is going to be 24-7 um, accessible for students. It's a great alternative um, from if you don't want to go to the library like late at night, um, depending on the hours too, it's great to have that. And we do have the office for RAs right here, um, which is going to be for um, Here. Um, so we do have our couches, we have a pool table, so a ping pong table, we have 
have a TV. Um, this is going to be very standard in a lot of our residence halls. Um, these are great things um, um, to have. Our resident assistants will host um, events down here too as we see kind of like get to know people in your class, which is really great. Um, we do have a kitchenette area over here, a microwave, a stove, a sink, and an oven. Um, that is really great. So um, a lot of times people go to apartment second year, so, um, but even first years can cook, which is really great. You can't even do a micro fridge rental right inside your room. Um, we also do, um, inside, we do have a showroom to show you here, so I'll have us rotate in. That will be the last thing at the residence halls. Um, that showroom, it does give you kind of a general feel of like what the residence halls are going to be like. You're going to have your beds, your desks, things like that. One difference, you're going to see a closet in there. It's going to be an external wardrobe-esque closet. Um, that is there because it's a showroom. Um, the closets that we have um, for students, besides um, if you're in a triple, you would have those closets, and that's only 1% and you have to request it. Doubles and singles, so what you would have unless you request it otherwise would be walk-in closets. Besides that, though, you are going to have a similar feel. So we can just kind of rotate through in the sh um, throughout the showroom here. And you are very shocked to find out how many places did not, or like, um, something that I really like about SU is like, no matter what residence hall you're in, you're going to have a very similar style of living. I know like in some places, you're, like people are like, really, they're like praying they get the good dorms or anything like that. We don't really have good dorms or bad dorms. We have, all of them are very standard and consistent, which is something I really appreciate. Okay, so um, it seems perfect. All right, are we all good at the residence hall? Here's the standard what dorm room in the residence hall. Area. Now the guide said that in the normal ones, most of them will not have these lockers. They will most of them have a regular closet. survey saying that like a bunch of different schools could um, come in and um, like email me about like different question um, like email me about like the school like to promote things um, so I got a bunch of emails from a ton of different schools um, and I saw SU and I remember thinking like it looked really nice and I I know that sounds like um, silly but like it is something that really is there is really something to be said about the SU campus that is it creates a very comfortable feeling. It was something that I really connected with when I toured here. Um, as you may have noticed by now, we are surrounded by a ton of nature. Um, we do have enough species on campus to be classified as an arboretum, which is pretty cool. Um, our plant species, it really creates a comfortable environment. Um, I give general advice to my tours all the time. Whatever school that you're like, I feel like I'm more than just touring. Like I feel like I can really connect with the place and like be here. That's probably gonna be the school for you. I do recommend, because um, we're on a little bit of a time crunch today, to come back. If you really like this, if you like the atmosphere today, come back for a general tour. You can see all the different academic buildings, things like that. See it for yourself, because there is so much on um, here at SU that is really great that I can't talk about so, um, today. So, yeah, we have a time. Tour guide. See the Yes. Yeah, I Jim. Library wing and the Henson Science Hall.
just walked into the library center. One of my absolute favorite stops to show on the tour. Um, so I always say I could literally give a tour on this library for like two hours alone. Um, we have 30 minutes of this specific um, whole tour. So just generally um, things to know. We, Princeton Review consistently ranks us among the top 25, um, top 25, top 30, like best college libraries each year. We're always somewhere really high in that ranking. I mean, it kind of speaks for itself how beautiful it is, but also it's extremely functional for students. Um, we have tons of like different um, options for like tutors, including like a math emporium, um, a writing center, things like that. We have classrooms. We have si like private study sections you can go to. We have silent study sections. Um, we have printing on every floor. We have Dells and Macs on every floor. Um, so many different options to sit. And um, we do have a wraparound rooftop garden on top um, for like a special assemblies, which is super beautiful. Um, it kind of goes with that like arboretum feel of campus in general. Um, and it just, it really is a very beautiful library. We do have an Eastern Shore theme going on in it with the shell tiles. It's supposed to resemble like boardwalk wood, ocean blue paint. And if you look at these stairs, they are supposed to resemble Maryland blue crabs. Um, so yeah. Do we have do we have any questions about the library before we continue on? We're going to head back out this way now and get us to our final stop. Thank you so much. Their library has between 200 and 300,000 books online on hand. Hallway. I'm going to break your cat. When I went to admissions, they were like, well, your SAT, and I had a good score, but they were still like, you oh. Product plus some extra stuff. Um, we're also kind of near the dining hall. Um, this is kind of that. Um, we do have the Government Association on campus here as well as SOAP, which is a student organization and activity planner. They plan like special events around campus. So we've had comedians come in, such as Matt Rice. We've had um, Trevor Wallace come. Um, we have had like performers come to we have Nest Fest at the end of every year or performers come to we had tea paint come. Um, we did have services come. Um, back in 2009 we actually had Taylor Swift come. Um, I doubt we can afford her now, but it's kind of fun back. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, that is pretty much the end of the tour today. You guys should have your bus over here somewhere. I'm totally recorded in this lot here. Um, but yeah, does anyone have any final questions about anything tour related before I let you all go? Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, I don't know where the bus is.